Welcome back to Now 452. And Britt, we're looking at all the stories making headlines around the world. A rare painting by Vincent van Gogh has sold at auction and it fetched more than even expected. The masterpiece titled Street Scene in Montmartre was sold for more than $15 million. Auction house Sotheby's only estimated it would bring in maybe six to nine million, which is still a lot. The sale of the painting was highly anticipated as it was one of the few paintings by Van Gogh that was still held privately. Sotheby's says the piece had been out of the public eye and remained in the same family for more than 100 years. I was just outbid, just by a few million dollars. Ah, man, it, just barely missed it, huh? It is Montmartre, by the way. Montmartre, okay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, another auction in Germany is selling a prop used to help bring magic to life on screen. I know you like the Harry Potter shows, didn't you, Britt? Don't you oh, like them? yes, I own them all. Okay, well, here you go, the Elder Wand. It was used in the final two movies of the Harry Potter film franchise. Today is your only chance to try and snag a piece of the magic through the Hample Auction House. The wand is expected to make huge price gains during the auction as it was used by three central characters in the movies, including Harry Potter himself. Oh my gosh, Daniel Radcliffe, touch that. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. Stress. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be curious to see how much that goes for. So. Hermione. Mm, Hermione. All right, well, taking you over to Russia now, where a woman known as Iron Granny, she's breaking records, smashing them. The 99-year-old World War II veteran just became the oldest Russian to have ever flown a real fighter jet simulator. For an hour and a half, she served as a flight navigator, assisting the pilot on the takeoff and landing in the virtual flight. When she was 93, Iron Granny also made headlines when she became the oldest Russian to have jumped with a parachute. Well, good for her. If she's anything like my mom, she's constantly stepping on the fake brake on the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Scott. Slow, Slow down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the London Zoo needs help naming their new alpacas. Earlier this month, the zoo received three baby alpacas from a farm. Aww, yeah, so look cute. at you, look at your little face. Don't spit at me. They're <laughs> asking the public to pick between some name options. One brown alpaca could be named Toffee Nut or Humbug. The other could get Pumpkin Spice, Lima or Lima, or Cookie. The white alpaca has the options of Snowball, Cusco, or Alpacachino. We've shared a link. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, I like that too. We've shared a link to the zoo's poll on fox59.com. The winning names are expected to be announced right before the zoo's reopening on April the 12th. They are cute, aren't they? Alpacachino is my favorite. Do they make, what kind of sound do they make? Do you know? Uh, I think it's. Um, it's like a she sheep? I don't know. If it's a brain or more of a, like a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There All you right. go. Well, now on to an otter story. A what? An otter, never mind. An otter, otter, an, otter. It's about an otter. <laughs> okay, that, oh, right, let's move on. It's not afraid to work for his food, but his technique might make you say, ah, oh, shucks. Another, all right. <laughs> That's Lincoln. He's doing his best to open an oyster at the Oregon Zoo, but the shell was apparently just too tough, so he had to put a little muscle into it, banging it repeatedly against the rocks. His persistence paid off, though. He eventually cracked it open and then was able to enjoy the feast. Look at him, nom, 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 nom. Isn't that amazing? Because they I, normally put a oh. rock on their tum-tum and smack it like that. I love otters. It's just amazing how they can even get <laughs> that open. I've tried to get those shells open, and I don't see how they do it, just, I guess, over and over on time or so. Oh, well, he's so cute. Well Worth done. it though. He got he got the oyster. There you go. Much